How's everything going with your thesis? I should be able to publish it next month. <sighs> A few days ago, I was worried that I'd have to stop my work on it. Thankfully, that didn't come to pass. Well, Azar was one of your thesis advisors. Honestly, I was afraid that you might have gotten dragged down as well. How did things get settled? The newly appointed Acting Grand Sage reviewed all of our projects and gave us permission to continue our research. Acting Grand Sage? That sounds like a new thing. Yeah, I heard that selecting new sages has been taking some time, so he's just filling in. But it's all thanks to him that our research results weren't jeopardized. Once my paper is published, I'm definitely giving myself a long vacation and getting some much-needed rest. Mondstadt sounds like a good idea. They're really out of their minds, making I'll hate them the acting grand sage. Take it easy, Professor. I'm puzzled as well. Just going by qualifications, you're one of our most preeminent scholars. I don't know why they picked a stripling like him. Fool! Do you think I'm angry because I wasn't chosen for the position? No! It's because I don't understand why they chose him! He was one of my students, but he rarely attended class. When I asked him about it, he retorted that self-study was better use of his time. What brazen arrogance, misery of miseries, for the academia to have him as the acting grand sage? <laughs> <coughs> Professor, don't get so worked up. I'll go get you some water. Psst. Want to hear a secret? I've heard the new acting grand sage is from Haravatat. Really? Who is it? Someone named Alhatham. Never met him myself, but he's a real hot topic right now. Lots of things being said about him. Hard to tell what's true and what isn't, though. There's also a Vahumana scholar who's been in the spotlight recently. They say that he's a likely pick to be one of the next sages. Oh, is he teaching any courses? Maybe we should drop by. Wow, news of Alhatham being the acting grand sage sure spread fast. Some people don't know who he is, though. Guess he's less famous than Paimon thought. Some people are saying good things, and others bad. Especially that old guy just now. He really doesn't like all Haytham. Uh... Hey! Are you okay? Uh, you don't look too good. The Matra. The Matra? I'm Ilias. I have to talk to Amatra about something important. In the state you're in? You shouldn't push yourself. Why don't you tell us what happened and we'll pass on your message to Amatra? No, I have to tell them myself. They are the only ones I could trust. Sorry, can you lend me your arm? This is an important matter. Failure is not an option. Since you put it that way, fine, we'll take you to Amatra. You two look familiar. Are you friends of Mahamatra Saino? Um, I'm afraid he's out on a mission right now. But if you'd like, I can pass whatever message you might have on to him. We ran into this guy by the gates, and he seems really eager to speak with Amatra. It sounds like something urgent. Oh? If you don't mind, why don't you tell me about it first? <sighs> Siraj. Siraj. That name sounds familiar. Isn't he a Vahumana researcher? Vahumana researcher? Yes, one of their most renowned, in fact. I hear he's as daring as he is intelligent. 
There are rumors he'll become Vahumana's next sage. Uh, but please continue, good sir. What about Siraj? I want to report him for conducting a dangerous experiment. He kidnapped me, tied me up, and took me to that horrible cave. Experimental equipment everywhere. I ran as fast as I could, a little slower, and he would have caught me. There's no rush. Please, take your time. What kind of experiments was he conducting? Where is this cave? I don't remember. Huh? You can't remember? All I remember is Siraj walking towards me, and then my head started feeling... weird. It's like a nightmare that I can't recall. I just know that that place is dangerous, and that they must be stopped. Oh, I heard they conduct business in the tavern. We have to hurry. Even if what you say is... All right. I'll have some of my colleagues look into Siraj. But before that, I would like to administer the Matra lie detector test. You think I'm lying? Please don't take it the wrong way. This is just standard protocol. Sorry, but can you two wait out here a little while? We'll be back soon. Huh? A haven? Let me bring you up to speed. First things first, Ilyas passed the lie detector test. This indicates that what he said is highly credible. As such, we've decided to launch an investigation based on the leads he provided. Per protocol, this matter was reported to acting Grand Sage Alhatham. After hearing about it, he left a message for Mahamatra Sino and then asked to join the investigation. Huh. It's kind of weird for you to be working with the Matra. Is there a special reason? You're overthinking things. My interest was piqued, is all. Really? I'm unsurprised you have this much free time. In that case, let's join in as well, shall we, Traveler? It's already against protocol for Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham to participate in this investigation. As for you two... Oh, never mind. After all, you were the ones who brought Ilyas here. I'll allow you to accompany us, but you have to promise to keep everything confidential. Don't you worry. Our lips are sealed. All right, in that case, I'll fill you in on what we know so far. Ilyas claimed that Siraj will be conducting some business with a Kasharawar researcher at the tavern. This is one of his few clear memories. It seems he stumbled upon this information while escaping. Incidentally, Siraj isn't at the academia right now. He applied for long-term off-site research one month ago. It's close to the time that Ilyas had given. So we've decided to head to the tavern and investigate any suspicious persons. That's right. Arav, prepare to head out. You two, do as you will. Oh, come on! We already said that we're coming! We're here, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. What's our next course of action? Hmm. Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. Looks like you haven't read any memos lately. The new Academia Decree clearly states that even a sage doesn't have the authority to interfere with the Matra's actions during an ongoing investigation. If your superior were here, he wouldn't be asking me what to do. Instead, he'd be telling me to stay out of the way. You're right. Understood. Then please wait here as we lock down the perimeter and search for suspicious persons. Ilyas, please stay here. Acting Grand Sage Alhatham, I'll have to trouble you with the protection of our primary witness. <sighs> sure. Though I'd rather he just protect himself. He's the same as ever. Casually ignoring people, just like he did back at Aro Village. Answering a simplistic question only enables the questioner. Besides, I need him to understand my position clearly. Arav has just as many doubts about my coming along as you do. But unlike you two, he's making this matter more complicated than it is, with his considerations like the acting Grand Sage is trying to seize the Matra's powers. That question was obviously bait. 
The Matra were once under the influence of the sages, and so were often subject to these bureaucratic traps. The test was strictly unnecessary, though. I hope that our exchange will assure him that I won't interfere with their work this time. Ugh, why is this so complicated? This is why I was against becoming the Acting Grand Sage from the very first. Titles and rank inevitably make a lot of things more troublesome than usual. Excuse me, Acting Grand Sage, all hate them. I've had a question on my mind, and I need to know the answer no matter what. Have we met before? No. I have no recollection of ever meeting you. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought so too. <clears throat> I probably wouldn't have had anything to do with someone of your caliber. Then why did you ask? Well, for some reason I felt a sense of familiarity when I met you for the first time. Really? A misperception, perhaps. Or... Acting Grand Sage Alhatham? We've apprehended a suspect. Siraj? No, it's the Kasharawa researcher who has dealings with him. His name is Narendra. S Acting Sage Alhatham? Wait, uh, can someone please explain what's going on? I admit that I, I did steal some mechanical components from the lab and sell them, but does something like that really warrant the personal interest of the acting Grand Sage? What, what have I got myself into? I, I, I know I let Greed get the best of me, but, but, but please, I promise that this won't ever happen again. I would like to ask him a few questions. Of course. Do you know Suraj? Yeah, that's the name of my buyer. He asked to make the transaction at the tavern, but he never showed up. What were the details of this transaction? He's doing some kind of experiment that seems to require many power generators and electrical components that can only be found in our project. He contacted me in private and said that he'd pay a large sum of Mora if I was willing to put some aside for him under the pretense of them being defective parts. We had originally agreed to meet at the tavern earlier today to do the trade. I sure didn't expect to get stood up. Perhaps Siraj was aware that Ilyas might leak information, so he intentionally didn't show up. Whatever the case, it seems that this lead ends here. The good news is, regardless of what Siraj was planning, his progress will now be severely hindered by a lack of power generators and electrical components. We still have time to conduct our investigation. Do you have any more questions for the suspect? No. He's all yours. But I'd like to borrow Ilyas for a while. Oh, that's fine. We conducted a comprehensive lie detection exam, which showed that he has a genuine case of amnesia. We're not planning to pursue any further breakthroughs on that front. However, I am curious what do you need him for, exactly? I've read some papers regarding amnesia, and I'd like to try restoring his memories. I see. We'll be returning to the Academia, then. I'll leave Ilyas in your care. Follow me. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. Siraj didn't show up at the tavern, and Narendra didn't give us any leads. Ugh, that means we're stuck. Oh, hey, Thum, are you serious about seeing things through? Hyman's pretty surprised that you're this interested in the case. I thought you would have guessed the reason by now. Yes. We were classmates. Oh, so that's why you asked to come along when Arav briefed you on the situation. So you're not here because you're interested in the case itself, but because you know the suspect? You couldn't be further from the truth, but I wasn't expecting much from you to begin with. 
For the time being, all you need to know is that we were once classmates. I became the scribe afterwards while he continued his academic endeavors. He submitted a thesis one year ago, and the Grand Sage at the time asked for my opinion. I did not approve of it because it committed one of the six cardinal sins by touching upon human evolution. From violating matters regarding human evolution to attempting the forbidden and fearing none, the six cardinal sins are the origin of all evil in this world. They are also what the sages use as a reference when formulating or amending the rules of the academia. My opinion was that Suraj's research was both overly naive and in violation of various core principles. The Grand Sage took some of my suggestions on board and ultimately decided to reject the application. So that's why he's buying energy sources and electrical components. He's most likely trying to circumvent the rules and conduct his experiment in secret. That sounds super suspicious. Oh, we gotta stop him. Ilias, can you try to remember things again? Maybe something new will pop up. I'm sorry, but I've already tried many times. And no matter how hard I try, it feels like everything in my mind is shrouded in a thick mist. It is possible for a person to subconsciously forget some of their memories as a defense mechanism against extreme stress. However, these memories aren't truly lost, but merely sealed away. They can be restored with the appropriate stimulus. Now, try to recall things you care about. They don't need to be related to this case. Well, actually, I feel like I've forgotten more than just the memories of the time I was kidnapped and experimented on. The kind of person I am, the things I've done, I can remember some things, but I can't recall some others no matter how hard I try. But I do vaguely remember that there are two things that I have to do no matter what. Do tell. The first is to get my paycheck from the Academia and give it to my younger sister in Gondarvaville. I'm not sure about the details, but it seems that I would send money to my younger sister every month to pay for family expenses. And the second thing? What's the second thing? I... can't remember. Sorry, there's just so much I can't recall. Not unexpected. However, you're the only one who has seen Siraj and knows the exact location of his cave at present. As such, we'll do everything we can to help you regain your memories. Losing your memories must be really painful. But don't you worry, we'll help you get them all back. Oh, thank you so much. This feeling, it's more than just pain. I don't know how to describe it. I have so few memories that I don't even have a clear idea of who I am. And my head's always ringing. It feels like I could faint at any moment. But amidst all that, it also feels like I've been set free somehow. Nevertheless, I have you all to thank for bringing me what clarity I do have right now. Now, I do remember that I worked part-time at a place in the academia called the Research Preparation Center. That's also where I got my monthly paycheck. I see. In that case, let's go and find whoever's in charge there. Oh, um, uh, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. I've sent this period's research expenses report to your office. Have you taken a look? Are there any issues with it? I did. Recent research expenses have decreased quite a bit compared to past figures. Yes, though that is primarily because there are fewer scholars with research needs. But that can be a rather convoluted topic. Might I ask why you are here today? I believe you know this individual. His name is Ilyas. He worked part-time here. And he's here for his paycheck. Oh, yes, of course. Though, Ilias, where have you been these past few days? That was our busy period, but then you disappeared without a word. Everyone had to pick up the slack. I'm sorry, something unexpected came up. But I know I've caused trouble for everyone. Is there anything I can do to make up for it? The other researchers have more or less finished your share of the work. However... There is one thing that is yet to be settled. Do you remember Chandra? You were in charge of following up on his off-site research application. 
He retracted his application a few days ago and canceled his off-site project. He's the 12th person to retract a research application this month. I'd like you to ask him why he did that. Hmm, Chandra is probably having coffee at this hour, so you can find him at the cafe. Understood. Then, about my paycheck. I'll pay you in full once you return. However, make sure you don't disappear without saying anything again. Be considerate to your colleagues and give them some forewarning at least. Is this acceptable, acting Grand Sage Alhatham? I have no objections. Elias? Long time no see. What can I do for you? I heard that you cancelled your research project, so I'm just here to ask you why. Oh, that. Um, it's really nothing special. I, I just don't feel like going anymore. I'm, I'm not the only one who cancelled, right? I mean, uh, people have had no motivation to conduct research lately, haven't they? No motivation to conduct research? Yeah. Say, who might you be? You look sort of familiar. No, um, don't mind me. Please, continue. Well, with the downfall of the Sages not long ago, many of the projects that they led were put on hold while they were being investigated. With the situation being so volatile, people are picking up random things to do to kill time. No one wants to risk starting any new research until it's clear how things will pan out in the future. When you say, how things will pan out, you actually mean what the new Sages would have interest in, right? Wow, talk about blunt. But that isn't the only reason for the lack of motivation to start new research. So what are the other reasons? Well, because the Akasha Terminal shut down. I'm sure you're all aware that we require all kinds of knowledge to perform any of the research we do. Back then, the Akasha would respond to any of our requests for the knowledge we needed. It was beyond convenient. We didn't have to spend an extended amount of time studying, so we were able to immediately run various tests and experiments. I see. You get it, right? After having had a taste of something so amazing, who can be bothered to manually sift through data and files ever again? There are only a handful of people at the academia who are starting new projects or performing research. Most people are like me waiting for a recognized researcher to start a project before immediately applying to join. Although our names will be further down in the paper, we'll have a much easier time. We don't have to do most of the mental heavy lifting. All we have to do is focus on our assigned tasks. <laughs> Ilias? What's wrong? My head... It hurts! I remember now. I remember what Siraj said to me as he approached. You will become Siraj number 36. Fuse yourself with a consciousness under my control. Think only in accordance with a set module. Like a worker bee in a beehive. Byron doesn't get it. What does that even mean? It's what Siraj was researching and the topic of the thesis he had submitted. Collective consciousness and the path of evolution. Siraj believed that by achieving three objectives, he could create a collective consciousness in human society and drive humans toward their ultimate evolution. First, he would rank test subjects in descending order of ability, with number one serving as the Overmind. This Overmind would then divide tasks into numerous modules and delegate them to the Collective's members, based on their assigned number and the task's importance. Lastly, this system must support the rapid exchange of information within the Collective, or even better, allow its members to share their memories and emotions. Paimon still doesn't get it. What's the point of all that? Think of it as linking many minds together and tailoring a given mind's assigned work based on its compatibility. Eventually, everyone's minds will be consolidated into a new form of existence that is both an individual and an organization. Siraj believes this collective consciousness is superior to individual humans. Whoa, it's 
squishing a whole bunch of people together. Paimon thinks that sounds horrible. It's just as Alhatham said. Siraj gave all the test subjects different numbers. Bigger numbers meant you had a lower rank, so your assigned tasks were less complex, such as being responsible for everyone's basic needs. Smaller numbers were ranked higher, so you'd be given more complex assignments like planning for the future. Siraj referred to me as number 36, and I think that was a low-ranking number. I also recall that Siraj said his plan was proceeding very quickly, and that the Hive would soon be complete. I tried my best, but that's all I can remember. I still can't recall where the cave is. I'm really sorry. Take your time. You'll eventually remember it all. However, something doesn't seem right. Some details don't add up. What's off? You were only designated as number 36? What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. I'm not sure what Siraj's numbering system is based on. Anyway, we're done here. Let's go. Please, wait. I heard you all talking about Siraj just now. Are you looking for him? Huh? Do you know something? Well, Siraj is pretty popular as of late. I heard he's gained recognition from a lot of well-known researchers. Supposedly, he's a strong contender for being one of the next stages. There are many who would give up everything to be a part of his research team. I'm nothing special, though, so I doubt I'd get the opportunity. That said, I do know a researcher who received an invitation from Siraj but declined it. Her name is Janaki. If you're interested, you can try to find her. She's usually reading at the pavilion in the garden. Are you Janaki? We'd like to ask you a couple of things about Siraj. <laughs> Ilyas? Do you know me? I I'm sorry, but I don't recognize you. Are you playing dumb with me? No, I'm not. I, I actually have amnesia, so I've lost a lot of my memories. And? <laughs> are you trying to say that I should forgive you just because you've forgotten what you've done? Or are you using the acting Grand Sage as backup to settle things with me? The two biggest loners teaming up. <laughs> what a terrible thought. That's enough. There seems to be a dispute between the two of you, but I have no interest in that. I heard that Siraj once invited you to join his project. Is that true? So, what if it is? Siraj did extend an invitation to me, and I was also interested in his project. I think it was about collective consciousness or something. Anyway, he said that I could be number 45. I refused because I thought that rank was too low. No one wants to be placed at the bottom. <laughs> Certainly not me. Elias is number 36, and Janaki was supposed to be number 45. Ugh, just how many people did Siraj have his eyes on? Tell me, did Siraj tell you how he assigned numbers? Yeah. Remember how the sages took advantage of the Akasha and extracted Yana energy from our heads back then? They left a document that records the amount of Yana energy that the Akasha had extracted from each person. I don't know how Siraj got his hands on that document, but he used it as the basis for his numbering system. Hmm. I see. He believes that this data can be used to evaluate a person's computing power. Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. At most, Nyana energy can only be seen as representing a portion of a person's abilities. Humans are complicated beings, so it is impossible to evaluate them using a single criterion. See? I knew I couldn't have only been ranked as 45. What else do you know about Siraj? That's it. He came to me, I refused, and that was the end of it. Is there anything else you needed? If not, I'm out of here. I've had enough of this eyesore. Please, wait, I... I... 
I still want to know what I did in the past. You really forgot? I swear, I don't remember anything. Paimon can vouch for him. The Matra also said that he truly lost his memories. I see. You know what? It's better this way. I get angry just thinking about it. So I really don't have the patience to fill you in. All you need to know is that you got a lot of people in trouble back then, including me. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. And she's gone. She doesn't seem to like you very much. Do you really not remember anything? I really don't. But after she said that, I've had this heavy feeling in my chest. I guess I did something really horrible. Do you want to remember? Huh? Even though you're a witness against Siraj in this case, you've also lost your memory. No one can force you to remember if you don't want to. Even if you manage to remember, all you would need to do is feign ignorance and tell us that you tried the best you could, but to no avail. I'm not sure what to do. Like I said before, for some reason I felt a sense of freedom when I realized I had lost my memories. But I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to go free so easily. I still want to remember everything. What should I do? I can look up your file. Something that caused trouble for a lot of people in the past must be on file somewhere. Would you like me to look into it? Yes, please. All right, then let's return to the house of Dana. We've spent enough time here, and you should go and get your paycheck. Let's split up for now. Ilias, you go and get your paycheck. The rest of you, come to the archives with me. We'll meet back here later and then head over to Gandarvaville. Okay, thank you all so much. Relax, Ilias. Being nervous accomplishes nothing. That's true. <sighs> I'm ready. No matter what I've done, I'm ready to face it. I'll also try my best to remember anything else related to Siraj. We'll put an end to all of this. I'm holding you to that. See you later. Okay. The important files from the last few years should all be here. Thank you. 
Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. Anyway, I found Ilyas's file. Let's meet downstairs. What have I done? This file indicates that you were once commended by the Academia for your courage and sense of justice. You were considered a hero. Huh? Me? Yes. Your instructor was engaging in academic fraud, and you were the one who reported him. Your report was found to be true after a series of investigations, and your instructor was brought to justice by the Matra. This incident caused quite the commotion, and the Academia sent you a commendation. <laughs> what is it? Are any memories coming back to you? No, it's just... <sighs> My head feels like it's being ripped apart again. It hurts. Did I seriously do that? Then why? Let's put this matter aside for now. It isn't directly related to Siraj, so there's no need to push yourself over it. I'm sorry. That should have been something good to hear, but my body is instinctively rejecting it. I feel like I'll black out if I try to remember. Take it slow. Recovering memories is no easy task, especially when it involves memories that you don't want to remember. Just do what you think is right. Thank you. I'm not sure how you're so calm and composed all the time, but it does make me feel more confident about the situation I'm in. Let's head to Gundarvaville and deliver Ilyas's paycheck to his sister. Come on! We should be close. Let me think. It should be this way. Ilyas, what are you doing back here? Dad, uh, it's nothing. I was just wondering how everyone was doing. You sure everything's okay? Did they bully you again? It's all right. You can tell us. <laughs> Ilyas, what's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. Just a minor headache. I haven't been getting much rest lately. <sighs> Back then, I told you not to be a hero. Look how things turned out. I can't imagine how things are going for you at the Academia. We've even been receiving threat letters. You don't have to force yourself to stay at the Academia. You can always come back home. I'm all right. I just need a little rest. Ilyas doesn't seem like he wants them to know that he has amnesia. Hey, that's enough, you two. Ilyas isn't feeling well. You can keep nagging him once we get home. Ilyas, let's find somewhere to talk. So, how's your headache? It's much better now. <laughs> oh, here, it's this month's paycheck. How's everything at home? Same old, same old. It's just that everyone's worried about you. Don't mind their nagging. Deep down, they know that you did the right thing. It's just that after hearing a lot of bad rumors about you and seeing all the threatening letters, well, they're mom and dad. Maybe they just want you to conform a bit more. Conform? Yeah. You don't remember? After the incident, you... Ilyas? What's wrong? Ah, I see. I remember now. Uh, don't worry, I remember now. 
You're acting a little weird today, you know? Anyway, I understand your decision. But Mom, Dad, and I just want you to be happy. I don't care if you're a hero or not. I just want you to enjoy life and relax more. Your understanding is a great comfort to him. Is it? That's good. Are you a friend of his? More so these two. My name is Al Haytham, and this is the Traveler in Paimon. Oh, that rings a bell. At any rate, I feel more at ease knowing that my brother has friends. Would you like to join us for dinner? I just happened to buy some extra food. Sorry, but I still have things I need to take care of. Well, that's a shame. Okay, I'll get going then. Take care of yourself, Ilyas. Don't worry. I won't do anything to make you guys worry again. You remember now? Yes, I do. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Is that your way of conveying gratitude? Oh, my apologies. But I meant every word. Remember when I asked at the tavern if we had ever met? I said that there was a sense of familiarity, but what I really meant was a sense of loathing. Loathing? Yeah, but having spent some time with you, I realized that you're not someone I disliked to that extent. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? My strength is that I don't care about what others think. If you could also develop this quality, then you won't be as bothered by complicated social relationships. It'd be great if I could think like you. <laughs> uh, but first things first. I remember where Siraj's cave is now. I'll take you there. Really? That's great! Uh, Paimon remembers that you said there are two things that you had to do. We've only checked off one, right? What about the other one? Are we not gonna do that first? There are more important things at hand. We have to stop Siraj before he completes his collective consciousness, or it'll be too late. You're right. Let's head out. <laughs>